in her mouth. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Actually, it's almost afternoon. It is already almost 12 o'clock, and we have pretty much done nothing today. Today was one of the days where I don't have many chores to do, um, and we're gonna spend a lot of time with the kids, and so I thought that I would just wait to bring the camera out. Um, we have been watching some movies this morning, playing with all of our toys in the ottoman. Jackson has been trying to crawl. Look at him down there. <laughs> if you guys don't know, because um, I'm not sure if I've mentioned it yet, but he rolls over from his back to his belly all of the time. And then once he's on his belly for a while, he gets tired of being on his belly and for some reason hasn't really figured out how to go from his belly to his back. And I brought it up to the pediatrician because I was like, you know, you want to bring up things that you think are milestones if they haven't met them yet. Um, and I know that rolling from your belly to your back is one of the first milestones um, and an easier milestone than from back to belly. Now Jackson has rolled from his belly to his back maybe twice. Chris says that he saw him do it more than that, but I'm not sure that he's correct. Um, Cause most of the time if he's on his belly, then he just cries and doesn't want to roll over and then we have to go roll him over for him or sit him up or whatever. Um, and I remember Jane doing that a little bit, like whenever she would be on her belly or trying to crawl or something, she would get really fussy, but we would just let her be fussy because that kind of motivated her to do it on her own. So we've been trying to do, do that with Jackson and try to let him be fussy and try to see if he can do it on his own. But then he goes out into like full blown cry, freak out mode. So then we end up going to get him. The pediatrician said that she was not worried at all. Um, one, because he has done it before. It's not like he's never done it. And also because, like I said, it is harder to go from back to belly. And since he does that all the time, she's not worried. Um, it's just probably something that he, for some reason, doesn't want to do. Um, once he starts crawling and then going from like his belly to like the sit-up position and all that, I'm sure it'll come. It's just like a preference of his. For some reason, he just can't figure it out or something. Mom. But anyways, let me see. Maybe I stepped and not. You stepped on it? Yeah. And it broke. Yeah, I said. All right, you hold the camera and mommy will fix it. Okay. Point the camera at me so we can, you can see me fix it. Can you see? Yeah. Watch out, honey. There we go. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Anyways, so Jackson has been on his belly all morning, I feel like, and he moves around. He can move around where he wants to go. Like earlier, well, I just tripped over you, buddy. Earlier, Jane and I went on the screen porch to go water a flower, and Jackson went from facing one way to facing us and like wanting to come out with us within like two seconds. So he can do that and then he also pushes himself backwards when he's on his belly. So he can move around down there and he's really trying to figure out the crawling thing. And so I have a feeling within the next month at least he'll be crawling, which is around the same time Jane crawled. So that'll be interesting too. But now that I've like talked your ear off this morning for like five minutes, um, I am going to go ahead and do some stuff outside, some of my chores for tomorrow. Since the kids are content right now, I'm gonna to try to do some of those before lunch, just so that I can cross those off and not have as much to do tomorrow. But I just wanted to say good morning to you guys, and I hope you're having a good day, and we'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, it is nap time. And just like bedtime, um, my kids go to bed at the same time for nap. Although Jane just has the one nap that they go to bed at the same time for. And Jackson has multiple naps, but this one nap, they go to bed at the same time. So we have like a little nap time routine. So I wanted to bring you guys along today. Um, basically it's just like our nighttime routine, but since it's always so dark in here, you can't really see anything. But Jane, what are you doing under the covers? 
Jane, are you in here? Jane? Oh, she must not be in here, Jackson. Whoa, there she is. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to read a book and get ready for nap. This little boy smells like poop. I know it's you. He smells like poo poo. Jane's picking out a book, and sometimes this can take a while. Come on. You want me to read a book? You got to pick one out now. Jane. What puzzle? All right, well, come on. Once upon a time, there was a magical kingdom ruled by a good queen and a kind king. They were happy until the queen became very sick. The king had heard of a flower with healing powers. And hey, bunny. It's time for a nap. Is that funny? Is the nap funny? Here's your lovey. Here's your blanket. Oh, you are so sweet. You are so sweet. Mommy's going to turn your noise on. Right off. What do you see? I see a caterpillar. Wow. Mm. Where is he going? He's going in there. Look what's going Okay, let's go. Jackson. Jackson likes these walks too, don't you, buddy? We're on another walk this evening since we didn't get out of the house earlier. And oh, I just almost stepped on the caterpillar. Jane has been really like liking scootering, is what she calls it, going on her scooter. So that's what we're doing. And I'm gonna head home. Chris is on his way home, so we gotta hurry up and get home so we can start dinner. Um, but it is a nice evening. It was like 75 out today, which is pretty hot for the end of November. Um, and But now it feels good that the sun's down and um, we're definitely in like shorts and t-shirts. But I think the next week or so, it's supposed to be like the high of like 65, which is cold for us. So. We'll see, and hopefully we can start bundling up for the holidays and stuff. A big stick in your way. Can you go around it? Good job. There you go. Yeah, good job. Look at Jackson. Um, I just dunked him in the bath with Daddy and Jane. Jane and Daddy have been taking baths every night, um, which helps a lot. And sometimes it helps even more to put both kids in there and kind of get them done quickly. So I'm going to run upstairs and get his jammies on. It's a little bit on the earlier end, but now we can kind of hang out as a family a little bit before we go up and read a book and go to bed. But... We have had a very lazy day today. Um, Jane and I watched a lot of movies and played and took naps and took a walk. And now it is time to relax. I made chicken piccata. Well, I said now it's time to relax. I just said we've been relaxing all day. So oh, I'm losing my mind. Um, anyways, I made chicken piccata tonight, which was really good, but again, kind of on the messier side. So tomorrow we might be doing something a little easier and not so hard to clean up. But I'm gonna get this guy in his jammies. He is growing out of his pajamas so fast. Um, he wears size six months in his clothes, um, pretty much. 
he can definitely fit into nine months. But he's really, really long, so his six month pajamas don't fit him anymore and his feet are like way too big for the little footed part. And we don't have many jammies right now that fit you. We do have this Christmas one and you guys know me, usually I don't like doing Christmas stuff until after Thanksgiving, but that's only a week away. And when your kid doesn't have anything else to wear, you got to bring it out. So you have this little polar bear. Jane has the matching one, even though this is kind of boyish, but it's really cute when they match. So that is what he is going to wear. Oh, and this is 12 months. Yeah, this is 12 months and I'll show you how this fits on him in a second. Okay, so here he is. Look how tired he is. So it's a little bit like big right here. Obviously he could be a little bit bigger, but look, it's like perfect on length. And I don't know if you could tell, but there's only this, his foot goes to right there. So there's not very much more space in this foot for a 12 month baby. Right? Yeah. Here comes Jane. I'm gonna see if Jane wants to wear hers too. So cute. Look. What are you doing, Jane? We magic like Jackson. You're magic like Jackson? You mean you match? Look how cute. Uh-uh. Oh my goodness. Jane, do you like matching Jackson? Good, get used to it. <laughs> hey. Okay, if that's not the cutest thing you've ever seen, I don't know what is. I recall being uh, down goes Frazier. Oh, there I remember she goes. Hating when my mom made me dress. Well, you're a twin, so it happens. But you can't tell me just because they're a boy and girl that can't match. You guys are so cute. You guys, Jackson just got up on his knees, hands and knees. Babe, you're missing it. Look, he's about to crawl. Chris, hurry. <laughs> Look at him. He's about to crawl. He just got up like that all by himself. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh, man. All right, Jane has been feeding the dogs lately, which is a big help. Like to put the cups up like that. Yeah, that's good. And she goes all the way around for some reason. Job. Now Hannah. Now Hannah. Come on, Hanny. Mm. Eat your lunch. Mm. <laughs> you growling at your daddy? Ooh. Yeah, that's perfect. Oopsie. That's gonna smell. <laughs> okay, put it all away, Jane. Good job. Thank you. You ready for bed? No. <laughs> all right, guys, we are gonna go ahead and end the vlog. We're about to take the kids up to bed now and then relax ourselves. But thank you so much for watching today. We love that you guys are on our daily journey and give the vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already um, because we do make videos daily and then on Mondays and Fridays we have extra videos as well, um, whether it be DIY videos or just some sit down informational videos or craft videos 
and all sorts of fun stuff like that. We have lots of big surprises coming up for you guys soon too, so stick around and we will see you guys tomorrow. You gonna say bye to everybody? Bye! What?